Just mere days ago, Marvel released the very first trailer for Black Widow into the public eye. I sat and watched the trailer myself. I've watched it a few times since. I think it looks fantastic. And there's enough in that trailer to kind of keep me engaged and keep me excited for the full release next year. But it hasn't shown too much, hasn't spoiled too much. I'm sure we'll probably get a second and third trailer before then. And typically I feel that those trailers do tend to give away a little bit too much. But that's besides the point. Today, DC felt fit to release the very first trailer for the second Wonder Woman film. Now, I can't help but think that's perfect timing on both Marvel and DC's behalf. that They would release these female-fronted trailers for these female-fronted movies so close to each other. And therefore, they'll ride on the hype of each other going forward. It could be a conspiracy theory. It could be just coincidence. But I think it's great that both of them trailers have launched so close to each other. Now, DC obviously beat Marvel to the punch. They got their female-fronted superhero film out into the open a long, long time before Marvel did. And that was a shocking thing for me because I think everyone thought that Black Widow was going to get a movie far earlier than she eventually did or eventually is going to get one. Um, so that was a real kind of shock for me. So DC are always going to have that. That's, that's a win for them. So following that up with Wonder Woman 2 is a huge deal. In my opinion, since the kind of formation of the DC Connected Universe, Wonder Woman is the most successful film to come out of it. I'm not talking about financially, but for me personally, as a film, as a product, I feel that Wonder Woman is probably the best formed film in all of the films they've put together so far. I'm not a huge fan of what they've done with the extended universe. I'll, I'll be the first to say that. I don't hate it, but it ain't great. A lot of it's very rushed. But Wonder Woman stands on its own as a film that I can watch and enjoy. Um, and it makes sense that it would get a sequel. And I'm sure it will get another sequel after this because I'm sure it will be extremely successful. But that's not to say I still didn't have issues with Wonder Woman. I know a lot of people really held it in high regard and absolutely applauded the film. And I think rightly so um, for its you know female focus, female fronted, uh, female directed. It was a fantastic film in that regard and very groundbreaking. Um, but the film itself as a film still had a plethora of issues in my opinion. Um, one example being still quite a heavy reliance on CGI that at some points felt just didn't it pulls me out of the immersion and dc in my opinion are a little bit guilty of that they do go very ham-fisted on the cgi sometimes and it just looks a, a little bit janky but i still enjoy the movies um fundamentally i do still enjoy the movies and of all the movies they've made so far in that connected universe wonder woman's my favorite so i'm excited to sit and watch the trailer for the second one i'm also excited because kirsten wig is in it kristen wig kirsten wig i think it's kirsten wig playing cheetah um, which is very cool. Cool casting because obviously Kristen Wiig, we normally see her in uh, more comedic roles like Bridesmaids, etc. And she's fantastic in almost everything she does. Um, so it'd be great to see her in a role where she plays essentially a villain and maybe has a little bit more kind of uh, a, a menacing uh, vibe about her, a menacing presence. I'm excited to see kind of how she carries that off. And I'm excited to see if they um, really show her much in this trailer today. Um, yeah, as I say, I'm not crazy hyped for this. Uh, I'm probably a bit more excited for Black Widow. But then I haven't seen this trailer yet. It might change me. It might switch me over. Um, but yeah, I'm not as excited because I am a bit more of a Marvel fanboy at heart. I'll, I'll admit that right now. But uh, that's not to say I don't love DC and I don't love the characters within these universes. Um, I think there's great stories to be told. Um, and I think Wonder Woman was a good example of an origin story, a, a kind of how you do an origin story right. So I'm going to sit and watch that now. I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'm just going to sit and watch it and see what the trailer has in store. I am very excited. Um, I do love my superhero films. I love all movies. They always get me excited when I get to see new trailers and things. So it's the best bit about going to the cinema is watching the new trailers. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to dive in now and see what it's all about. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what old Wonder Woman's up to these days. There she is. Kristen Wig. So funny. I love her. You? So many times. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> oh, it's got kind of a Thor Ragnarok vibe going on here. I did think that with the original poster though, with all the kind of the coloured lines. Set in 84 though, so it's very 80s. Oh, that's very cool. Ooh, nice. Who's that? It looks like Nathan Fillion. I know it's not, but it looks like him. Think about finally having everything you've 
Okay, okay. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman was fantastic casting, regardless of what you say. I think she is the shining... Oh, hello. Interesting. She's the shining star in DC's film universe right now. How is he back in it? Oh, it's... It's uh, flipping else. Oberyn Martell. I love the music. Fantastic. Kristen Wiig's looking amazing there. Those little mini Wonder Women there, little mini Amazonians. <laughs> Nothing good is born from lies. I wonder if um oh, I wonder if Chris's character is actually alive or it's just kind of a just something she's seeing, like a uh, hallucination maybe. I know it's a bit of a wild theory to throw out there straight away. That looks oh very cool. Music's great. Very 80s. Love it. Uh, that's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to skip through and look at some bits. I don't want to watch you, Gordon Ramsay. All the time. Really? So many times. Yeah. All the time. Okay, so straight out the gate, you didn't get to see Kristen Wiig as Cheetah in this trailer, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's quite... um. It's not showing a lot in this trailer, it's just kind of setting a tone and setting a mood. I am getting a slightly more comedic vibe. I am getting a bit more of a kind of a Thor Ragnarok vibe. That bit looks fantastic. I love films that really embrace the time period they're setting. This feels very 80s, just that mall. Very 80s. And again, I, I think Gal Gadot is a, is a great Wonder Woman. Um, she brings so much personality to the role. How how is he back? <laughs> I have questions that I need answering, and I know I'm not going to get answers anytime soon. Everyone will see. I, I feel bad that I don't remember the actor's name, and I just called him Oberyn Martel. Um, <laughs> But that's how I remember him. Oh yeah, I'm up for this. It looks like it's got its own sense of style. It looks very colourful compared to the other DC Universe movies, um, which I really appreciate. I think their films would benefit from a little bit more kind of levity. I know a lot of people have said that. And this looks to be embracing that. It's very bright, very colourful. Action scenes look great. I just want to get to see her whipping lots of people, and this this golden costume here is awesome. Yeah, that just looks amazing. I think it looks really cool. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good. June fifth. Okay, so it's out June 5th, so it's out a little bit after uh, we get Black Widow. I think Black Widow is really early next year. I've forgotten the date already. Um, I want to say March. I think it's March. And I know there's now going to be a huge debate around which one looks better. Wonder Woman versus Black Widow. That's going to be the debate raging in uh, comic book communities going forward, I'm sure. Personally, I think they both look great. They both look like they've got very distinct and defined tones of their own. It looks like a little bit of a, a, bit of a change up, actually. Black Widow looks very dark and broody with elements of humor still coming through in the trailer but it looks very dark and broody for a marvel film and wonder woman looks quite light and fluffy and enjoyable and kind of action-packed which is kind of not the usual way it pans out um dc tried to be a little bit more broody um and marvel tried to be a little bit more kind of tongue-in-cheek but this looks to be embracing the kind of the 80s vibe that the film seems to have um and, and it's obviously set in an 80s time period so it, it makes sense that it would embrace that vibe, but it's just nice to see it leaning into it. Um, and I think it will kind of do quite well on the back of the kind of 
Stranger Things nostalgic aspect that kind of people are really embracing at the moment because obviously Stranger Things season three really leaned into its uh, time period and people love that with the malls and things. I think it looks really good. Um, Gal Gadot is a great Wonder Woman. Um, I, I genuinely believe that. Um, she really sold that character to me. She's one of the reasons I loved the first film. Um, as I said, I, I did think it had flaws. It wasn't my favourite film of all time, but she was great in it. Um, but yeah, I think they really struck gold with her as the actress to play that character. So um, I'm excited to see her come back. Action scenes look great. Costumes look fantastic. I do have questions about how certain people can be alive. I did see that they were on the cast uh, casting list, um, but I just can't quite fathom how. So that'll be interesting to see come into fruition. I'm only a little bit annoyed that I didn't get to see Kristen Wiig in full Cheetah get up. I would have been really, really cool, but I like that they're holding things back. There's a long time between now and June. So I'm sure we'll get a couple more trailers between now and then that will kind of fill in the blanks and give us a bit more information. Um, yeah, I'm hyped for it. I think it looks really cool. Um, I'm glad to see that we're starting to get some superhero films coming back out again. Uh, they are just one of my favourite things to see at the cinema because they're so joyous and kind of over the top that, yeah, it's um, they're just a spectacle. I know there's been a lot of debate around whether superhero films are cinema recently, but I fall very much in the camp of, yes, they are. Um, they're escapist cinema and they're a lot of fun. And this looks set to be another big old slice of that. Hope you enjoyed watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to watch the trailer a couple more times, see if there's any little Easter eggs I can find. But I think it looks really, really cool straight off the bat. Uh, take care of yourselves. See you later for another one.